In human body contain three types of hemoglobin. These are HbA, HbA2 and HbF. Hemoglobin A is the most common one. It consists of two alpha chains and two beta chains. Hemoglobin A2 and F are rare type. They consist of two alpha chains, two delta chains and two alpha chains, two gamma chains respectively. In infants hemoglobin type is HbF. Glycohemoglobin is formed when a ketoamine reaction occurs between glucose and the N-terminal amino acid of the beta chain of hemoglobin. The amount of glycohemoglobin generated is proportional to the mean blood glucose during the 8 to 10 weeks before the test. Therefore, the glycohemoglobin level is a useful indicator of long-term blood glucose control. American Diabetes Association now officially recommends HbA1c testing for the diagnosis and monitoring of diabetes. High Performance Liquid Chromatography, or HPLC, is the gold standard method for hemoglobin A1c testing. High Performance Liquid Chromatography is an analytical chemistry technique to separate, identify, and quantify each component in a mixture. Advantages of HPLC method in HbA1c testing It is gold standard method. It has good precision, can detect more parameters, don't need to pre-process like centrifugation, can detect most common Hb variants in blood sample, common reagents and consumable of HPLC analyzer. Hemolysis solution used for pre-process of blood sample before the HbA1c analysis. Elution buffer solutions used to determine the HbA1c percentage and substance content in the blood sample. Analytical column separate Hb molecules according to their charge. QC and calibrators used to verify the accurate operation and calibrate instrument when necessary. Principle of high-performance liquid chromatography method in HbA1c detecting. In HPLC method various types of hemoglobin is loaded to an analytical column. Non-glycosylated hemoglobin cannot be eluted easily from analytical column. Because it is more positive charged when compared to the glycohemoglobin molecules. Glycosylated hemoglobin can be easily eluted from analytical column. Because it is little positive charge. Glycated hemoglobin and other hemoglobin components are separated according to their different electrical charge. The retention times for each fraction determines the identity of the component. In chromatography, retention time is the interval between the injection of a sample and the detection of substances in that sample. It's the time required for the solute to pass through a chromatographic column. If you are interested in my video creation, like this video, feel free to give your comment. Please subscribe us on YouTube.